Welcome back to the channel, guys. As we all know right now, most everybody does, I'm sure, Amazon is having its Prime Day sales. So I went through and tried to find the best deals on the cameras I could find for you guys without you guys having to go through all the work. And not only is it Amazon that's got some great sales going on, but there's some other companies that have not only great sales, but some that are actually better than Amazon. But let's get started. Let me show you what I found. All right, to start off, I'm gonna start with Amazon. So everything I'm gonna show you now is coming from Amazon. Then at the end, I'm gonna show you a deal. It's just, I just can't believe that Adorama has going on, but I'll get to that at the end. So let's get started with Amazon. And they have the Canon EOS R7. It's a crop sensor, it's the RF version, but it's a really good crop sensor. Uh, I think it's probably the top RF version of the crop sensor they make, and that's the R7. And Amazon has it for 15% off for 1274. So if you're looking for a good crop sensor, that'd be the way to go with the Canon R7. So, so next, now this is a lot more of a beginner camera right here, but you know, I know some of you guys are beginners, so you might be might like this camera. It's the EOS R50, and it comes with the 18 to 55, four and a half to six three kit lens. Now that kit lens is really kind of iffy but it's kind of on a lower end camera, but the price also reflects that. So if you're looking for a good camera to, to get started and save some money, the EOS R50 would probably be the way to go. And they've got it listed for $749. So that's a pretty good deal on that camera. So the next one we come to, now this one is not a beginner camera. This is more of a high-end camera, but they have a pretty good price on this. The Canon R5 that is regular $3,899. They have it for $2,899. So that is, that's $1,000 off the Canon R5. So that's a pretty good deal. So if you're looking for a high-end camera or maybe a backup for your R5 Mark II, whatever you have, or maybe a second R5, that's a good deal, $2,899. And then uh, switching away from cameras a little bit, but this is some Godox microphones. I have not tried these out but I saw that they were real priced really well. This the Godox wireless lavalier microphone with noise cancellation. Uh, they're kind of new. I don't know how new they are, but I know they're a little bit new and they are half off. They're regular 160 and they're listed at $87. So that's a really good price on the Godox microphones, but I have not tried those yet. So I don't know. They get pretty good ratings on here, but I haven't tried them myself, but I like most Godox stuff. So if you're starting a YouTube channel or something like that, you may want to look into these Godox. Check them out. And then they have the LED by Godox. Uh, this is the 70 watt LED light. It's not super strong, but it's plenty strong enough. I use a 60 watt that I travel, so, and it does fine. So this, this one should be fine. It's regular 179. They've got it for 143. Uh, it says 20% off, so it's not a bad price. I haven't tried that particular Godox light, but I have tried some of the other LEDs and they're pretty good. Matter of fact, I'm using Godox LEDs right now, so. And then they have the actual, I have this one. This is the newer 60 watt light. You guys have seen it. If you watched the channel before, you've probably seen me bring it out and show it because I bring it out occasionally. Um, and it's regular 150 and it's on sale for 120.99. It's at 19% off and it's a really good light. I can highly recommend that light. So if you're looking for a good LED, I know for sure that this one's good. The Godox one, I'm sure it's probably good, but I have this one. So I can say, yes, this is a good light right here. And this one takes, two of the NP batteries, so you can really run it for a long time. And then we have a newer Z2, and I also have this flash, and it's a pretty good flash. Um, it's not the best overall flash I've ever used, but it's plenty usable. And the price on it is what really makes this a deal. Uh, it is regular $229, and it is marked down to 189 with an additional $20 off, so you can get the newer Z2 for $169.99, and that is a fantastic deal for that flash because I have it. So it's definitely worth $169. So if you're looking for a speed light to go on top of your camera, I would highly recommend the newer Z2. Just make sure if you're using the Canon, you get the newer Z2, the C version. If you're Nikon, get the N version and so on. So make sure you match your camera brand to the newer before you order it. And then here's yet another high-end camera. Um, this is the Nikon Z8. I'm not sure how many, I think this is, um, I don't have the information on how many megapixels that is in front of me, but I know it's a pretty high-end camera. It's listed brand new for basically $4,000 and they have it for $3,496.95. So it's 13% off. I've read about it. It's supposed to be a really good camera. So if you're into Nikon, 
you can save about 500 bucks there on the Z8, so not bad. And then we get down to a Micro Four Thirds camera. It's the OM-1 Micro Four Thirds camera, and it comes with the 12 to 40 F2 point f 2.8 lens so that is a really nice lens because that is the equivalent to 24 to 80 f2 on a micro four thirds camera and that olympus om1 is from what i hear a really good camera and it is regular twenty eight hundred dollars and they have it for two thousand ninety nine dollars so it's 25 percent off so that's a good deal and then we get to and then this is a pretty popular camera for YouTubers. This is the Sony ZV-1 and it retails for $500 and it's $398, 20% off. So that's not a bad camera either. Pretty good deal. And this is an older camera, but you guys know I like older cameras. Some of them are just better than the newer ones as far as I'm concerned. This is the Sony a7 III full frame. It is listed new for $1498 but they have it for $12.29 right now. So that's a pretty good deal on that. It might be, yes, no, no coupon. I thought they might have a coupon extra on that, but $12.29.95 for a Sony a7 III full frame, pretty good deal. And then I know you guys have seen this. I've been pulling out this LED light forever. It's the Ulanzi 40 watt. Uh, I mentioned a few weeks ago on the channel that I love it. It's just not quite as strong as it needs to be all the time. But if you can get by with a 40 watt light, it's on sale. It's regular $100 and it's on sale for $78.96 right now. And a $20 coupon. So you can actually get it for $58.96. And that's a really good price. That's about the cheapest I've ever seen. It. It's $58.96 for the Ulanzi 40 watt. And any of you guys that have watched the channel very long know that I use that one out all the time. I probably have it laying over here, but no, the one time I don't have it sitting beside me. But anyway, that's a great little LED light for traveling. It's small. 40 watt is a little bit almost enough sometimes, but if you get creative, you can make the 40 watt work. So you're good for 58 bucks, especially. Now, moving on to some other places other than Amazon. The newer website, uh, they're in, all these companies I'm listing are affiliates of ours. So um, I'll leave some affiliate links at the bottom. So if you guys are interested in that, and uh, our channel makes a few bucks off of it, it doesn't cost you any extra, but it helps our channel keep going, helps keep making videos. The newer website, newer.com, they have the newer Z2 for 25% off, uh, listed for $259. I think it's probably still going to be cheaper to get it on Amazon. So and it's the same exact flash, but if for some reason you don't like Amazon, you can go to newer.com and get it for within a few bucks of the same price. So it's listed for 260 and 25% off of that. All right, so now moving on, I want to go to Adorama and they have some really good deals. Uh, they have the Canon R8, which is a full frame camera. Now it's, it's similar to like the R6 or so, but it doesn't have quite as much like the battery don't last quite as long and that sort of stuff, but it's an excellent full frame camera and it's on sale for $14.99, $200 off, and that's at Adorama. And the R8 is a really good full frame camera. So if you're looking to get started in the full frame and you're looking for a brand new one, the Canon R8 is a good way to go. And Canon on Adorama is offering up to $500 on select EOS cameras and select lenses. So it'll depend on your discount on which camera you're looking at. So now I want to show you the absolute best deal that I found on any camera, on any site, anywhere. And this one, I believe is good until November 23rd, which is a really long time. So, well, first let me get to this. They also have the Nikon D850 and it comes with a bundle. It comes with a 64 gig card, camera case, spare battery, cleaning kit, memory wallet, card reader, glass screen protector, and Mac software package. I don't know what's in the Mac software package, but this is $800 off and it's $21.96.95. And that's an Adorama and that is an excellent deal. And the Nikon Z62, they have for $400 off. They have it for $15.96 and this is also an Adorama. And that's a pretty good camera too. It's a 24 megapixel camera, full frame. So that's a pretty good deal. This is the camera that I think is by far the best deal of any site. Now, I'm looking at buying this camera myself, so I've been looking all over the place for a good deal on this. But Adorama right now has the Lumix G9 Mark II, have it $200 off the regular price. And then they have a $600 trade-in when you trade in any camera. So I looked up, I have an old Canon 30D and they only offered me $13 for it, which ain't much, you know, but they're giving you a $600 credit. So by the time you get the $200 off, you trade in the camera, get an extra $600 off, and then you add on the $13. They've just about got that Lumix G9 II down to $1,000 for the body only. 
And that is a spectacular savings. So I plan on jumping on this one myself. It's, I think you have until November 23rd, 25th, somewhere to get that one. That's an Adorama and that's an Illumix G9 Mark II and Micro for a third camera. So it is not recommended for weddings in low light. That's about the Micro Four Thirds are not great in low light. So if you're doing weddings, this would be fine for receptions. That's where I use them at is the receptions. But if you're in like doing a big Catholic wedding and it's dark at night and you're using candlelight, the Lumix G2 or any micro four third camera is not gonna be the way to go under low light. But for most everything else, you'll be fine. And it has really good video qualities on it. So it's a great hybrid camera, but just to let you know upfront that micro four thirds cameras are not spectacular in low light for that you'll want full frame to get the best quality you can on that. But anyway, that's the deals that I have found guys. So hopefully I saved you some trouble of having to go through and looking. And maybe if you're looking for a camera, I named it and hopefully it was on sale for you. So anyway, if we're helping you guys out, give us a big thumbs up. You guys hit that subscribe button. Have a great day. Thanks.